Hello guys, this is Lisa Kim who teaches useful and practical Koreans and you guys can use these phrases right after this video. Hi, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna teach you how we can say I'm sorry, can you tell me again? I'm sorry, can you say it again? I couldn't understand it, I didn't get it. So let's get started, today's lesson go go! So first one is I'm sorry, can you tell me again? I'm sorry, can you say it again? In Korean, you can say I'm sorry is 죄송합니다 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 Can you tell me again? Can you say it again? In Korean is 다시 말씀해 주세요 다시 말씀해 주세요 다시 is again 말씀해 주세요 is tell me or say it again. Okay, say it. So, uh, 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 다시 말씀해 주세요. 죄송합니다. 다시 말씀해 주세요. Actually, like I told you, I'm sorry in Korean is 죄송합니다, right? 죄송합니다. But as you know, I don't know, you guys already know about this or not, but some of my subscribers will already know that like 미안해, 미안합니다, right? So 죄송합니다 and 미안해, 미안합니다 is all same meaning but 죄송합니다 is more polite way it's like a more formal and more ca more uh, polite way so if you are in the situation that you have to say it to older people then you have to say 죄송합니다 so, uh, in this situation, so you're asking a favor to other, right? Other, that please tell me again, right? So in this situation, it's better to say 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. So besides 죄송합니다, what else we have? 미안해. 미안해. And 미안해요. 미안해요. Okay, so 미안해 is uh, more casual. And 미안해요 is a little bit more formal and a little bit more polite way. And then the most polite way is 죄송합니다. Number two is uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I don't understand it. Okay? In Korean, what is I'm sorry? 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. 이해를 못했어요. 이해를 못했어요. I didn't get it. I didn't understand. I don't understand. 이해를 못했어요. So, 이해 is understanding. 이해 is understanding. 못했어요 is I couldn't. I couldn't. I can't. Okay? So, 죄송합니다. 이해를 못했어요. 죄송합니다. 이해를 못했어요. Number three is can you say it slowly? Can you say it slowly? Please tell me slowly. In Korean, 천천히 말해 주세요. 천천히 말해 주세요. 천천히 is slowly. Slowly. 천천히 말해 is speak. Speak is 말해 주세요. Means please. Please. So, 천천히 말해 주세요. 천천히 말해 주세요. Plus, I just told you 천천히, right? 천천히 slowly. Then, what about fast or hurry up? You know, hurry, rush. You know, how we can say it? Not, not 천천히, not slowly. The opposite of slowly is in Korean, 빨리, 빨리. I think that some of my friends, they already know Bali, like Bali Bali, because in Korea we have like a Bali Bali culture. It means that hurry up, we have to do it. Hurry up, we don't have any time. We don't have enough time. Please, we have to do in a hurry. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, kind of this culture. So, uh, some of my friends, they know Bali Bali. So, I want to teach you that Bali Bali and Chan Chan Hee is opposite. They are in the opposite meaning. Okay? So, 천천히 is slowly. So, you can say 천천히 말해 주세요. 천천히 말해 주세요. Alright guys, this is all for today. 
Uh, maybe this is not very difficult or hard topic, but of course, like in some situations, especially when you arrive in Korea, when you live in Korea, you're trying to communicate with locals like Koreans that, but at some point we face some situation that you cannot really understand and that you want to ask Koreans to speak to you a little bit slowly, right? Or want to like uh, listen again, then you can ask them. 천천히 말해 주세요 or 다시 말해 주세요 말씀해 주세요 right so that's what that's why i prepare these phrases and i hope you guys can use these phrases after, right after this video and then i will bring a new video very soon i will try my best okay i promise make a promise okay see you next time bye bye have a nice day